Lufthansa has announced that it's purchased four additional Airbus A350s and will be acquired from a leasing firm. These A350 900s previously flew with LATAM if you were interested. Deliveries are slated to be completed this year and will boost the company's long-haul offering, allowing them to meet additional demand that is being seen. The leasing agreement in place only makes the rapid acquisition possible, as without a leasing contract and potentially these units being up for grabs, the company would be waiting far longer to secure important delivery slots for the A350. Leasing agreements, again just to reiterate, if the aircraft are available, quickly give airlines the opportunity to seize current demand that they may be seeing, rather than waiting multiple years to secure the equipment and not being able to act in the moment. Lufthansa has struggled, mainly off the back of the global pandemic, with aircraft delays that have meant they've been forced to return planes from retirement and very generally operate inefficient jets. This is something I've covered quite extensively over on Globetrotting. I think it's a discussion point that is very, very interesting to further expand upon. And you're seeing with the further acquisition of new planes, even on a leasing contract, just how much Lufthansa needs this capacity. And in the meantime, while it waits for more long-haul aircraft to be delivered, this is what it has to do. In March, Lufthansa did confirm it would order more A350-900s and fly the A350-1000. Therefore, the commitment from March paired with this will see Lufthansa become the third largest operator of the A350 family. And it's a label they should no doubt be proud to have, as with any aircraft series when you're that heavily invested in it. You normally wear that tag with pride. Per Sirium fleet data, Lufthansa currently operates 21 A350-900 deployed on a host of missions right around the globe. Its A350s average an age of around 5 years, with the oldest being 6.4. It is therefore one of the younger fleet types in Lufthansa's operations, and alongside the 787 series, which was recently delivered, it provides the company with fantastic economics and undoubtedly better than the quad-engine planes that they've been forced to keep around for, again, many reasons outside of their control. These issues include the likes of late deliveries of planes and the general need for high-capacity aircraft to meet demand. And when you don't have enough planes to be able to do this, paired with many other factors. It's an issue that can be quite difficult to sort. However, one day these older planes that I make mention of that we've all come to love and adore will eventually disappear. And it will be the likes of the A350, the 787 and one day the 7779 that will truly lead the line for its long haul flying fleet. It's a fleet that will look very different from 30 years ago, but one that should propel them forward in more positive ways than one. If you have any thoughts on the latest acquisition from the German flag carrier, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for tuning in once more. I appreciate your continued support throughout all the years. Incredible to think I've nearly been doing this eight years already. So truly means a lot that I'm still able to sit here and record these videos for you. Thanks again, and I'll see you later. And we'll fly.